Hey everyone, it's Ethan Ormis back again for another video today and welcome back to the channel guys. We're here again uh, for yet another CDL video today. We're going to be making predictions for Major 4 Week 2 and my god, my voice sounds so deep. I just woke up, I just got out of bed. <coughs> <coughs> Fuck. And I got a bunch of plans today. Uh, I'm watching the finale of The Flash Season 8 today, which I'm very excited for. Uh, and I've got the finale of Stranger Things Season 4 today as well. So, hanging out with some friends, going to be watching those. I'm really, really excited. So, uh, yeah, well, let's get into this. We've got some predictions to make. Uh, so, I'm doing this really early. This is one of the earliest I've done it in a long time. So, uh, we're going to be starting off Friday today with Toronto versus Atlanta. Uh, unfortunately, I have a feeling Toronto goes 0-1. Uh, this week, unfortunately, I just feel like Atlanta will get the best of them, unfortunately. But uh, I, I hope that's not true. I hope Toronto pulls out a win against them, but we shall see. Uh, their overall head-to-head -head is uh, in favor of FaZe, although pretty much every single one of their series is very close. But we shall see. Now, with London looking the way that they looked last week, I, will, I would be surprised if London didn't uh, beat Minnesota, but you never know. Uh, we've got Boston versus Seattle, and it's probably a free win for Seattle. I'm probably going to give it to them 3-0, to be honest. <clears throat> uh, and that's it for Friday. So let's move on to Saturday. Saturday, we've got London versus Florida. And again, I feel like this will be a pretty easy win for London if they continue to play the way that they played this past weekend. Uh, <clears throat> but we shall see. Uh, I just have a bad feeling about this Paris and Texas match. Like, I would not be surprised at all if Paris somehow beats Texas here. Uh, like, there's absolutely no reason for them to, but just because it's Texas, I would not be surprised if they lost to Paris here. Uh, I don't think I'm actually going to give it to Paris, but I think it's going to go five. I think it'll be very tight. Uh, then continuing on, we've got New York versus Seattle. Uh, you know, I'm praying for New York. I hope they can make it into the postseason, but against Seattle is a very tough challenge, and I am going to give the series to Seattle. I do think New York loses. <clears throat> I think it'll be a pretty close series, and New York won't look bad, but only time will tell, obviously. So uh, Then we got LAG versus Atlanta in uh, the last match of Saturday. I'm going to give it to Atlanta. Um, LAG really didn't look that bad last weekend, at least not against Toronto. They didn't look as great against the subliners, but, uh, yeah, you know, I'll give them a map. Uh, I don't think it'll be that close of a series, really. I think it, whatever map they win, probably the search, uh, would be very close, probably 6-4, 6-5, but, yeah. So, uh, moving on to Sunday, we've got the final day of predictions. We've got LAG versus Boston. Uh, which is a very interesting one. Both of these teams really need uh, to get some CDL points. Uh, of course, if you're looking at the standings, let me show you really quickly. If you're looking at the standings, uh, it's it's a pretty tight race right now. If Boston go 0-2 this weekend and the Gorillas go 0-2 this weekend, you know, I, I mean, right now, I don't have Minnesota or Florida passing uh, LAG, but it's still very possible. <clears throat> so, you know... If, uh, if Boston were to lose this series, I'd be really surprised just because, again, I don't see an upside from the Gorillas right now, unfortunately, but I'm, I think it'll be a close series. And uh, then to finish off Friday, we've got, or sorry, uh, <clears throat> that's just completely false. Never mind. I was looking at Friday. Sorry. Uh, continuing on through Sunday, we got LAT versus Paris. LA Thieves looked very good. Uh, I'll probably give it to them in, in 3-0 fashion, honestly. I think it'll be a much cleaner series than what Texas does against Paris. So, uh, And then, speaking of Texas, the final of the weekend, we've got Texas versus New York. And honestly, I think it's going to be a bit of an upset. I just think New York is hungry and they want to win. So I think they're going to beat Texas. Texas has not looked very great. I think they're going to be kind of stunned about losing or almost losing to Paris. And then I just think they're going to be so fucking hungry and way more hungry than Texas that... New York wins, but to be fair, if you go to last weekend's matches, you look at Texas, I mean, they they lost to the Rocker, and 
they lost to the breach but the most significant factor in both of those series was Shotzi Shotzi was low-key just non-existent in those series so it all depends on Shotzi which I would be stunned if he had as bad of a weekend as he did last weekend once again this weekend so I highly highly doubt he does but you never know right so as of right now I mean I'm gonna stick with these predictions uh so very interesting ones really but uh, yeah, I'll save my prediction. So overall, uh, on the weekend, I have Toronto going 0-1. Uh, I have Atlanta going 2-0. I have London going 2-0. I have the Rocker going 0-1. I have the Breach going 1-1. I have the Surge going 2-0. I have the Muneers going 0-1. I have the Legion going 0-2. I have Texas going 1-1. Uh, I have New York going 1-1. I have LAG going 0-2. Um, I have the Thieves going 1-0, so we shall see what happens. Did I mention New York? I have New York going 1-1 um, <clears throat> uh, as well, so we'll see what happens. I'm excited. We got some really fun matches this week, and of course, again, very important matches for Florida and Minnesota. London could really play spoiler this weekend against those two teams because they need points. They're out of the playoff bracket right now. They need to win these series. So, And if Minnesota and Florida both lose to London, since it's their only match this week, they're only going to have two matches next week. And if the Gorillas somehow pull off a win or two this weekend, then you know there's going to be a bigger gap. It'll be 135 to 120. So... We shall see, and it's very possible the Thieves go up to 140, it's very possible the Breach go up to 150, which, which means they'll be tied with the Ultra, so I'm intrigued to see how everything goes. It'll be a fun weekend for sure, so um, yeah, that'll be it for me, guys. I hope you did enjoy. Uh, sorry again about the morning voice, but I just needed to get this done now, so uh, happy Canada Day to any of my Canadians out there. All love to you guys. Stay safe today. Thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.